19,000 people at Madison Square Garden. Biggest indoor audience that boxing's attracted for a couple of years. And great interest, of course, for the New York comeback of Primo Carnera. And Pelletier, actually the taller man, stands around about six foot six and three quarters. Fast opening. Carnera with his back to us now. Slightly more upright stance. Former champion, of course, lost his title to Max Baer. Three victories since then. Well, and Pelletier is going to be encouraged by that good left hand. And just a suggestion that Carnera is looking a little bit gun shy in this opening round. Referee for this fight, incidentally, none other than Jack Dempsey. And he signals the end of the opening round, and not too much between them. Primo Carnera on the right hand side of your picture now, on the far side of the ring. Former champion. Now 28 years old. Four years the older man and Impelletier again going well. But there's the big right uppercut from Carnera. All through his career, that's been the danger punch. Good right hand again. And again. And Impelletier doesn't want to take too many of those. Carnera using that weight advantage, not as much as usual, but nevertheless it's there. Ten pounds or so. And he's such a handful when he gets in close. And Pelletier may be winning the opening round. Carnera, I think, shading the second and starting quickly in the third. Neither of these guys exactly fleet-footed. The old champion, Jack Dempsey, the referee, looking the most nimble man in there. Carnera trying to find a way into the body with that right hand. That's a good right to the body from Impelletier. And Carnera certainly felt the weight of that. Well, not too much between them so far. Fourth round. Carnera not able to physically intimidate his opponents as he has so many in the past. A lot of mauling and holding. Oh, that's a good right hand from Impelletier, followed up with the left hook. 
Carnera wants to hold on, and the crowd not too happy about this. They'd like to see a little bit more clean action. Another big right hand from Impelletier. Jack Dempsey really is a very busy man in there, trying to keep these two apart. Two touch gloves, but you can hear the howls of derision from the crowd, and a right left on the bell from Carnera, probably the best punches of the round. So into the fifth, from Pelletier, it's certainly doing as much as Carnera at this stage. That's a better left hook from the old champion. Trying to bully his opponent around. But around this for Carnera. Carnera with his back to us at the moment. Still, the crowd would like to see some cleaner exchanges. And Carnera saying to Jack Dempsey, what am I supposed to do about this? This isn't my fault. A oh, very, very messy round. And the crowd don't like it. And Pelletier starting to look a little bit tired. Here we go for round six. And Carnera almost ran across the ring at his opponent. And perhaps sensing that he's got more left in the tank. Pelletier's work has got increasingly sloppy. And Carnera, for me, is starting to edge this fight. Good right hand. Carnera trying to get up on his toes as much as he can. Show that he's still fit and fresh and that he's starting to edge ahead, but the crowd again booing. Carnera's unloading, good right hand again. And Impelletier is just trying to hold on and just trying to buy time. Those are big shots from the Italian going through. Ray Impelletier is doing nothing in there now. He's taking head punch after head punch. And Carnera senses that the end may be nigh. Good shots again. Really planting himself to try and deliver. Well, this really has been pretty much one-way traffic and another big left-right combination from Carnera. 
These are big shots going through. And how is he staying upright? Well, you can't fault the man for his bravery. Primo Carnera is starting now to hand out a real pounding. Oh, and a good right hand, nevertheless, from Impelletieri. You wonder how much more he can take. Carnera crashing those hooks home again and again. And there's no semblance or pretense of defence. It's taken the crowd a long time to warm to this fight. But that's a big round for Primo Carnera. He looks tired, but he won that one big time. Oh, another good right hand from Carnera. And Pelletier still in there pitching, six foot six and three quarters, 258 pounds. It would only take one big shot, but it's hard to see where it's coming from now, and he's on rubbery legs. Oh, good shot again from Carnera, right over the top. People wondered if the giant Italian could come back after that defeat at the hands of Max Baer. Well, he has done tonight. Right-left combination again, and somehow, still, Impelletier manages to stay on his feet. How much more can he take? Crunching left hook from Carnera. There's no great sign to work for his openings. Like a man pounding the heavy bag in the gym. He really should now, though, be able to find the one big shot to end this, surely. Jack Dempsey had a word with Impelletier, said, how are you, I think? And he's having a good look at him in the corner. Well, Carnier is going to work again on the right-hand side of your picture, the former champion. And Ray Impelletier takes another huge right hand and staggers backwards drunkenly. Can't go on much longer, surely. Oh, and he's been pulled out by his own corner. That was his manager, Harry Lenny, who climbed through the ropes into the ring and said, enough is enough. And really, there was no way that Ray and Pelletier was going to win that fight. Primo Carnera going across and commiserating with a brave loser. And Primo Carnera is an emphatic winner. And the 19,000 strong crowd roar its approval. And who knows, maybe even at this stage of his career, having lost the world title to Max Baer, maybe he'll get another shot.